Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to make a tiny modification to the tomato head skin. Hopefully it looks good in the end, I'm really afraid. But the new tomato head crown skin looks so good and I want to own it. So let's get started. Let me tell you, I'm really frightened that I will destroy this creation. It's one of my favorite skins from Fortnite. <clears throat> yeah, but let's get started because I really think the tomato head crown skin looks even better. And first when I saw the skin I thought, oh, it's all about just painting these lines onto the mask, onto the tomato head. But then I looked closer and when you look at the new skin you see that there are some modifications on the arms as well. Therefore we are starting with the arms and we are removing the clothes from the arms and we are adding the skin color which is I think even a bit darker or even a bit red because the new tomato head crown skin is supposed to be some kind of Rambo who <laughs> sorry who was fighting his way through the jungle losing his clothes and got sunburns all over the body body and has these tribal signs and paintings in the face and also on the arms and somehow this reminded me of Rambo. <laughs> Although this skin, the tomato head crown skin, is somehow a bit religious. Yeah. Because I heard in the challenge there is also the temple as well, right? So this is a tiny thin layer of green clay. It's the same green I use for the skin for the first tomato head skin and it should really look like as if the clothes was ripped away while fighting or while praying to the big god of tomato heads. <laughs> Let's also work on the other arm. This is the typical pose this skin is always making and even before the change to the skin. I am really wondering if Epic Games is now changing some of the skins in Fortnite and this is maybe the first one they changed. Slicing a bit of green clay. This is a different green for the bandage on the arm. Here we go. And we can even use this tiny knot as well. And the tiny pieces I used before for the skin because there was a bandage before. This is the head and now we will create the crown. Is it called cutlery crown? Something like that? Well, it makes sense to me. Because you see some in the details, you see fork, spoon and even a knife on the crown attached. And there are some white pearls as well. I am not really sure what I saw in this skin, but because he looked so weird, this made it quite interesting for me. Uh, because I said in the intro I want to have this skin. Yes, it's true, because now that I got used to the tomato head skin, um, every change looks just cool. <laughs> this is a big spoon, a knife, well, it's a spoon fork, right? For salad, for example. And I screwed up on this fork because it has five pins instead of four, a regular. So we, we remove it again. A regular fork has four pins, right? So this is the knife. Not much of work and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked tomato head body and crown and now we work on the head, on the tomato head and I didn't want to make any mistake. I really tried to be as focused as possible 
and while drawing I was really frightened because, well, you remember this pen from the shopping cart tutorial? Oh, 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 it ruined the shopping cart. <laughs> At least it, it caused some extra work. Yeah, so you get it why I was a bit worried, but this time the pen somehow <coughs> died and stopped drawing. <laughs> you see that in a minute. And therefore I had to take another white pen, which I luckily had. But let's first fix the fingers because they broke. I somehow grabbed the skin too hard while removing the arms. Let's start drawing these lines around the pizza piece and meanwhile we changed the pen so this is just a bit thicker. It was too thick to draw all the tiny details on the body. This was another problem, always struggling with these pens. I decided, well, just make it a bit thinner and it worked somehow. <laughs> you see these tiny tiny dots? Well now it's possible with this white pen as well. There are also some drawings, tribal drawings on the trousers and the knee protection and leg protection. So on the armor as well. This is a bit difficult to draw because there is a belt on the left leg and there are even some yellow orange stripes because I didn't had a orange pen which was that covering, I first painted it white and after that I used this yellow marker, this yellow pen. And it looks great, I think. It's okay. So, next working step, we glue the head onto the torso, finally. That one broke as well. <laughs> and we will start working on the crown. I think it took most of the time to build up this crown again because all these parts were that tiny and somehow I wanted to be sure to put all the details in the right position the, the spoons for example and this knife in the background and there are even some wooden sticks on the crown as well so before the tutorial is over next week there will be the 1 million subscriber special and a new fortnite skin as well drawing the last details on the trousers and guys i guess that's it the tomato head crown well, you may judge, but I think the tomato crown skin looks even better than the regular tomato head skin. Please don't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Let me know. Write it down in the comments. And keep in mind, I can't change this sky back. <laughs> I guess that's it for today. Have a great weekend. Take care. See you next week with the 1 million special. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. Well, is he, is he praying to tomatoes or is he praying to pizza? I'm confused a little bit. Or is it even about the knives and spoons and forks?